Your Huntsman will come in two different boxes. Inside each one is everything you need to upgrade your grill game. Let's break them open and show you how easy it is to set up your Huntsman. Let's break into the first box. In this box, you're gonna find your three beautiful casters so you can move your Huntsman all around your patio. And you'll find the big swing hinge. In the next box, you're gonna find the top of your vent and your bag of tools with your charcoal sweeper. We've got some premium tools in here, so you're gonna wanna hang on to them for a really long time. In this next box, you're gonna find the three legs to your Huntsman, and the next box is gonna have your Venom with the ash bucket. You got a meat probe, your pit probe, and all the fun tools that go with your Venom. It looks great. Did anybody say manual? What about a seasoning kit? In this next box, you're gonna find your charcoal grates. In a very similar box, you're gonna find your spider web grates. And now we're ready to put together our Huntsman. Starting with the Venom. Open the draft door of the Venom and find the fixed insert on the bottom of the Huntsman. Slide your sweeper through the draft door and insert the fixed tab into the fixed insert. Now you're gonna take the 10 millimeter socket, loosen the flex tabs on the Huntsman, and then fasten the flex tabs of the Huntsman to the flex tabs of the Venom. Tighten down so you can secure the fit. Attach the hook to the ash sweep and then fasten the ash bucket. Your Venom's ready to go. Grab the three legs of the Huntsman and slide them into their inserts. Make sure to align the bolt holes with the corresponding holes in the legs. Take the cart and connect the three legs with the inserts of the cart. Now take the casters and spin them in place. Take the M6 bolts and fasten the legs of the Huntsman to the Huntsman body. Then take three more bolts and fasten the cart to the legs of the Huntsman. With a buddy, flip the Huntsman onto its casters. My wife did not want to be in the video. <laughs> now take your big swing hinge. Do not remove the hinge pin until a later step. Take some M6 bolts and fasten the hinge hand tight to the back of the Huntsman. You'll want to keep a little bit of wiggle room so you can fit each hex bolt into the inserts of the Huntsman lid. This is a good point to make sure your Huntsman lid is centered, so that way the holes in the back will align properly. When you're assured that your Huntsman lid is centered, tighten all the way down. Align the grooves of your chimney cap with the crossbar inside. It should fit snug. You can install the charcoal tool on either side of your Huntsman. I'm gonna install mine on this side. So I'm gonna loosen the hex bolts and then tighten them down with a charcoal tool hanger. Now let's head back to the hinge. This is the time when you wanna remove the hinge pin. If you're having trouble, tighten down the screw under the hinge pin all the way. Make it tool tight. And you can adjust the tension using that same screw. There are two different places we can install our pit probe, on the side and on the back, in the top of the lid. This is where I want mine to go, so I'm going to loosen the bolt, install the pit probe, and fasten it down. I'm going to run the cable of the pit probe down through the hinge and around to the venom. I might as well take this sticker off while I'm here. Put it inside the P-port, and I'm ready to go. Let's put down our charcoal grate. And now the ring that holds the web grates. Last but not least, the beautiful spider web grates. Take out the power supply and plug up your Venom. And now we're ready to get cooking.